Wednesday morning, just after 8 o'clock, going to do the usual morning run for coffee, and going to do that morning run right now. Sorry, I trailed off there for a sec. Um, So I'm going to do the usual, and then uh, kind of waiting till 9 o'clock. I checked websites and stuff, and most of these places I have to call only open at 9, so kind of have to kill a little bit of time before then. Once nine rolls around, I am calling left and right. So. Had a bit of difficulty sleeping last night, just kind of, you know, with everything that's going on. Some might consider it excitement, at least if it was more of a positive, that's what it would be. Um, this not so much, <laughs> so, but we're not giving up yet, no reason to fucking throw in the towel or anything, I mean, at the end of the day, you need a place to live, and also, on the other side of things, I mean, although, the home search, apartment search, however you want to call it, that's focus number one today, and I'm not going to be doing anything else until I have that basically resolved, um, but once we uh, have that out of the way, in a reasonable time frame, I can then focus on a little bit of business stuff, in which case I have a couple of emails to send and I'm going to try to focus on developing what niches I would like to focus on uh, for finding clients. I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit. Um, I think it might work best if I decide on a niche that I want to focus on for a little bit of time, let's say we'll devote one Wednesday to trying to find clients with auto dealerships, and then the next Wednesday we're going to focus on, it could be dental offices or doctor offices, or another Wednesday on uh, restaurants and that kind of stuff. That's what I'm implying. I'm talking about uh, niches to focus on. At least that way, it gets me in one set kind of frame of mind. And then once I'm in that frame of mind, generally speaking, clients or would-be clients that I'm going to approach are all going to have the same kind of, you know, questions or, or, you know, issues to overcome potentially. Although granted, everybody's different, but when you're in the same kind of field, in the same kind of industry, there are a good enough number of things that are shared, so... I figure it'll be easier if I try that from a niche standpoint instead of kind of hopping all over the place all in the same day. It'll make my thought process easier and I suspect or I hope, I think, I believe, uh, I anticipate, It's a lot of words, uh, that I'll be a bit more productive in that sense and productivity is key. Or something like that so anyway we are now in the lineup 
about seven cars ahead. Could be a few minutes, but we'll hang tight. So I'll check in with you shortly. Okay, so, <sighs> Piff and her dad went to do some grocery shopping. I'm watching the little, the four-leggeds right now, both troublemakers, and uh, gonna try to get some business auditing done and some emails sent out um, after I made some phone calls for some rentals and another couple of mortgage places. So, uh, yeah, gonna be a busy day, I think. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'm way off, but gonna keep going for now. So time to get some uh, some auditing done. There we go. So something just came in the mail for me. Yay! Uh, this little neat little package from the folks at Moo, not Oom. You're seeing it backwards if this is how you see it. So folks at Moo with their fancy dancy business cards. We're gonna check them out. Ooh. So I really like these cards. Uh, I've already taken the opportunity to kind of flip through it a little bit and some of their stuff's kind of nifty actually kind of a thing that sets them apart so hello we're moo and uh here we go so quality paper from premium to, to luxury super speedy next day delivery available printfinity different image on every card full color double-sided printing at no extra cost rounded corners as an optional extra there are guacamole um so they have, like, the miniature card is a bit silly, but I do like how the original cards are available, either in, like, standard or with the rounded corners. They have the green business card, which is kind of a different, like, it's an, yeah, as they said, it's an uncoated finish, so those are kind of nifty. Um, the Lux is the one that really set it apart. You'll notice here, if I zoom in kind of or get closer to you, there's like a blue trim. It's actually thicker, and there's a colored uh, border, like a colored trim all around the sides, or a seam, I guess you could say. And the same applies when they do it with the rounded corners. Here you can see it's a bit more obvious because it's a red colored seam. Very cool. Plus that uncoated finish, like it really seems sweet. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, they're not cheap, mind you. I think it's like $35 for like 50 cards or something like that. So, you know. Um, and then some of their other ones, they have raised spots where you can kind of see a bit of a texture on the back side. If you want to go bling, they've got kind of a gold foil on some of it as well. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's that. And then back to me. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty nifty. Gives me an idea on to what I want to look into and I'm hoping for some emails from some people I've contacted about logo design and stuff I'm hoping I'm gonna get some replies because I emailed last week and kinda gave an idea as to my budget and we can work from there but um, all in all I did some auditing for one business a dentist office my current dentist um, and I saw that uh, yeah as far as the website goes the website could definitely use some work it's it's okay but it's very unorganized and it's not very engaging no calls to action or anything like that and then the the social media is kind of the same thing it's a bit of a at the risk of being negative it's a bit of a shit show um, and I really think that there's ways I already have ideas in my head and I'm like oh, okay I want to do stuff but I'm like don't like lead in too strong because it's up to them if they're gonna hire you or not right so don't get too fucking banana sandwich but I have ideas already on what I'd like to do and I think it could work so um, gonna be emailing her very soon and uh, we'll hope for the best and I realized in, in, at the same time they're not just one office they're two one here and one in the big village of Ottawa uh, that was terrible Ottawa um, but yeah we're gonna check that out and maybe we can get a nice two-for-one Thing sorted so fingers crossed we're gonna send that email out and then we're gonna change because we have some meetings for mortgages and such so that should be exciting so uh, I'll look different the next time you see me told you I'd look a little bit different um, so I cleaned up a little bit and uh, <laughs> we're gonna go run some errands got that email off so to the uh, the dental office so we'll see what um, what's said on that one. I'm 
I'm hoping for a good response. I told them straight up too. I was like, I, I, we're, we're clients of yours. We really like the services that you guys provided. The staff was very friendly. Everything was good. And, and generally, you made us a lot less squeamish about going to the dentist. Because goodness knows, we were crazy squeamish beforehand. Right? Over 10 years. There you go. So we went, and we're going regularly now, by the way. I've been three so weeks right now. that's because you're a diabetic. Diabetes. Uh, that too, but but mostly diabetes. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. So we're gonna go run some errands, and then we got some appointments. So see, I'm showing you this side, but it's really this side that that matters. Um, anyway. So let's go do some stuff. Oh, running a quick errand for the missus, because she's making supper. And she forgot that we had no tomato paste. I had to run to the store to get tomato paste. And we're on our way back as we speak. So while we're here, quick update for you. So, uh, so meetings went well in the afternoon. It looks like we may be able to pull something off after all, uh, keeping our purchase price within reason of about 160 k which I think is doable. Um, although the places that we've looked at as of late have all ended up being conditionally sold, so that poses a bit of an issue. Um, which means that uh, we're going to keep looking, obviously. Uh, there is one place that we're going to hopefully check out, just waiting to get an appointment to go see it. And on that note, we're looking at appointments, appointments, Ooh. apartments as well, and talk to a couple of guys. So we're going to go check out an apartment on Monday that looks to be quite nice. So nice, in fact, we might want to stick around for a while, but we'll see. <laughs> so, more soon. Hello. So early evening and uh, just had some din din courtesy of Tiff making a cottage pie which is a shepherd's pie with a bit of a twist namely some mashed carrots and some chives and it was uh, quite good quite enjoyable as was the strawberry shortcake she just prepared so I'm full uh, and <laughs> we're gonna bring some grub actually over to Erica and Brian and well Brian's working so he'll get his food when he finishes tonight and uh, maybe take Erica and her three munchkins on a walk since I think this is the first reasonably nice day we've had <laughs> so we're gonna do that um yeah so we're going to go for a, for a walk. And I'm hoping you guys had a good day. I know it's been pretty wild with uh, the weather as of late and the rainfall and the more rainfall that's expected. Just absolute madness. I cannot wait for some dry weather to, you know, make things much, much nicer again. So before it gets too dark because it's starting to look almost cloudy. We're gonna go for a stroll. I'll catch you later. A lot of these episodes are gonna end the next morning or something when I do a little thing at the end because I by the time 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock rolls around and we get home I'm not really in the mood to add anything else. So walk was good. Had a good time with the missuses and the girls. So reasonable end to a day. Although trying to get a two-year-old back in the house after she decides to run up and down the street in her shoes because she can, that can prove difficult. But lessons you learn. Anyway, you guys take it easy. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.